Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Shining Fate video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at what I believe to be is the best Amazing Rare card, and that is, of course, Reshi Ram Amazing Rare. This card is really cool. It's really strong, and for three energy, you do 270 damage, which is pretty solid damage. 270, you're knocking out pretty much any tag team except for, like, ADP, but we do play Goon and Vitality Band, and that's really cool. You just hit ADP really hard with Amazing Blaze. You just knock stuff out in one hit. Tag teams are a bit of a different story. We do have some ways to kind of get around that. I am playing cards like Tapu Koko. Um, you even have like Dedene that can even attack them. And even Crobat to a degree. So it's like, you don't have to worry about the matchup too much. But this thing just does a lot of damage. And thankfully, its attack cost is very cheap. Three energy is a lot, you know, easier to power up than Kyogre or Eveltal Amazing Rare, which require four to five energy, respectively. Four, three energy is really easy to do. Of course, we have Welder to power the fire. We have Coco Prism for the lightning. And now I'm going to be playing it with Trumbeak today. I've done a lot of videos on Trumbeak recently, but Trumbeak with a Reshiram and Mirror, I feel like is definitely the way to go because it is very easy to power this thing up in one turn. And Trumbeak makes it even easier to out, just out of nowhere do Amazing Blaze and just take an easy knockout. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, of course, share to the sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, make sure to get them over there. If you guys are still looking to pick up any Shining Fates codes, make sure to get your Shining Fates codes over at Car Kevin. They will be for the cheapest. Of course, if you want any other set code like Vivid voltage darkness of blaze you can also get them over there if you also want a specific other code like a sleeve code the uvv max sleeve code whatever get them over at car cabin guys if you do get any codes over at car cabin at the checkout guys of course you can use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help out car cabin too yeah shout out to car cabin guys check them out if you get any codes make sure you use code ldf all right Let's take a look at the list here. Uh, this is what I'm rocking with here. Played it on stream a little bit the other day, um, and it played pretty well. I like how it plays. Um, Trumbeak decks, um, I feel like, are pretty strong, and Reshiram is no exception. Now, Reshiram's big downside is it does do 60 damage to itself, and you only have a 120 HP. The Amazing Rare cards, unfortunately, have very low HP. <laughs> so you actually knock yourself out after two Amazing Blazes. Now, the thing with Reshiram, though, it's like... You're probably already going to get knocked out after you take a big knockout with Amazing Blaze anyways, so it's not really a big deal. You can try to play around this if you want. I mean, you could always, like, scoop up nothing, the Rush Ram, Arch Retreat it, Air Balloon it. It's up to you how you want to approach that. Um, you could try to fit in, like, a cape or something to try to, you know, mitify that damage and make it so you don't knock yourself out. But again, like, I feel like Rush Ram's always knocking itself out anyways. And I feel like even if you're going to take another knockout and you're going to knock yourself out, you're taking another knockout on a big Pokemon. So you're either going to win the game by taking your last three prizes or you're just, you know, putting yourself a really far ahead in the game. I, I don't think it really matters. You know what I mean? Um, but if you want to try to play a cape, you can be my guest. I honestly don't know what I would cut. I feel like Vitality Band is the way to go, though, because it does allow you to one-shot ADP. It lets you do 280 damage, which is really good in general. And of course, we do have some other stuff. Guru with the uh, Trumbi combo. Of course, Trumbi, you play it down. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Touch any number of basic energy you find there. I am playing a couple Welders in the deck as a way to accelerate energy also. Um, and then I got, you know, Crobat, Dedene. Uh, both can actually attack because we are playing Dark and Lightning energy. Um, Dedene actually kind of helps. I mean, there's going to be moments where you actually tingly return, um, believe it or not. And then go Rushy Ram. This is kind of how you can handle the VMAX matchup. You can go like Marnie to four. Tingly return them, put the Dene back in your hand on a VMAX, hope it stays paralyzed, then you finish off with a Rushy Ram attack after, you know, your next turn. So that's one way to deal with tag teams. There's our VMAXs. There's not really like a super good VMAX counter I could think of other than like play Leon also to boost your damage even more. Because then you're doing 310 damage with the band and the Leon, and then you just goon ping. So there's a few ways we can take out tag teams. Uh, Coco can also help with Spike Draw, can set you up if you're having a dead hand, has a free retreat cost, can attack with Thunderous Bolt. You can power up Thunderous Bolt with Coco and Trumbeak. Just a pretty simple card. Um, the rest of the deck's pretty straightforward, stuff you'll always see. I am playing a lot of Pokemon Search because I like having a lot of Search in this deck. Uh, I got a Training Court in the deck. Viridian and Training Court are both interchangeable. Even two Training Court might be better than just one. Obviously, it's here to get into basic energy. Back from your discard pile, very helpful. Um, two boss, one Leon, three Marty, two research. I didn't really know how the supporter count had to go because I want to play Welder. I also want to play the heavy draw cards, so I just kind of mixed it up. To be fair, uh, you could play a Great Catcher in this deck too if you want. Um, another option. You can also play Bead. Uh, we got one Air Balloon. Uh, I mean, it's kind of just here for like Guru and stuff, you know. Two bands, four Darks, five Fire, four Lightning. Uh, play more Fire, obviously, because we have more Welders, like Welder Fire. Just more logical to play that. We can get away with the uh, four of each of the other energy, though. This is kind of where a Viridian Force would come in handy. If you can find room for a Viridian, I'd definitely throw it in. I don't know what you would cut, though. Like, maybe a Trumbeak, maybe, you know, 
maybe a vitality band i don't know but if you can find room for another stadium either second court or a viridian definitely add it if you can but anyways let's go into some matches and hopefully take some big one shots with reshi ram okay let's get into our first match with amazing rare reshi ram here we won the coin flip which is good i definitely think we go first to try to go turn two trumpet obviously um and all right not a bad hand we got peaky pack guru quick ball vitality band the gang is all here We'll see what we are going to be playing against here. And yeah, what my what my opponent's gonna be playing. I got a lot of fire Pokemon. Okay. It's a Cinderace V Max deck. That's gonna be interesting. Knocking out the Volcanian here with Reshiram doesn't feel great. But unfortunately it's what we're gonna have to do. Alright, Primate Wisdom, this on top. Fire Energy, we can. Put that on this next turn, I guess. And then we got to research maybe into the play. Volcanian actually can't one-shot my Reshiram, which is pretty good, actually. The fact that I can't one-shot me makes me feel pretty safe. There's two Cinderace. <laughs> the new one? No, it's the promo. The new one, unfortunately, have a Welder. Building up the Cinderace. Not the Volcanian, which is interesting. No, they got a Giant Heart. Dang it. I was hoping they wouldn't get the Flare Starter off. Not that it really matters, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, as long as Rushman can't get one shot by Bulk, who cares? I think we still knock out the Volcano Rushman, but if we do that, then we get knocked out by the other Volcano, maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens here. What am I getting Tapu Koko V in play, maybe? Oh, they attached to the Cinder... What? Why would they not Flare Starter? What just... What? <laughs> All right. I don't understand why that my opponent didn't do that, but okay. Okay, um... I don't think we're going to get the attack off here. We didn't really get much. I mean, it's not... I don't think it's worth a do Trumbeak here. We can get another Peaky Pack. We can... I mean... We can attempt to do Trumbeak. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. They can't one-shot me. They're going to be forced to go Cinderace next turn, which is what I want them to do. I want them to use their two prizers against my Reshiram. And I don't think that Trumbeak is going to get us a Dark and a Light Energy. That's like ne not probably not going to happen. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do some Wisdoms here. I'm going to pass. I'm going to save my Trumbeak for next turn, right? I, I don't think we're going to get the Trumbeak off. I guess we could have, like, Calm for Crobat. That's not going to work. I think we just got to wait a turn to do this. And I don't mind that, because I don't really want to kill the Volk. I want to just kill their Cinderace. If they put a VMAX in play, I'll be very happy. They're going to research their hand away. I still don't understand why they didn't do Flare Starter. <laughs> that just didn't make any sense to me. Alright. I got Houndoom V in the deck, too. Sure. Okay, they're going to Crystal... Why are they playing their Crystal? <laughs> what? They have a Giant Hearth in play, bro. What's going on? Now, my question is, are they going to go with the Volcanian, or are they going to hit me with Cinderace? Want them to go Cinderace here, so... We'll see. We can, I guess we can play our, the Giant Hearth, too. We don't really need the Fires at the moment, though, because we have a pretty... We have two Fires in play, one in our hand, so we don't need the Hearth. They did research. They can't attach this... They can't Welder. Are they going to go into the Cinderace? They can knock me out Cinderace here. They don't. I mean, I guess we'll try to go for the knockout now. Guess. Why not? Oh, what? We actually got it? Dark Lightning? Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a busted Trumby kit right there. I actually can't believe that. That's kind of funny. Um, I was going to Marnie. I was going to maybe Guru something on top of the deck. I didn't really see any cards there I really care for. Yeah. This works out fine. We can get, um, get another uh, Reshi Ram in play, because why not? No, we actually prized our other two Reshi Ram. That's unfortunate. Could take Tapu Coco. Sure. We might be able to get to Thunderous Bolt. There's really nothing wrong with having it in play. Hopefully we get Reshiram out the prizes. We do have a Rod in the deck. We're at the bottom of the deck now. There's a boss. Could save that. They probably have a Welder in their hand. I think we just knock them out and hope they knock me out Cinderace and not Volcanian. Reshiram? Got a Welder. We can go Coco and maybe bait them. Okay, they are going to go Cinderace. They have a free retreat, though, but they are going to go Cinderace here. Will they go VMAX? They go VMAX. We can hit that with Amazing Blades for 280. 
or something. Ah, we'll see what happens. There's a Crow Bat. Probably got the two shot with Reshiram. But we can go Reshiram and then maybe into Coco V the next turn. That might have to be the play. Then we'll save Reshiram for like the last prize. I'm hoping they go VMAX here. That's what I want them to do. I want them to go VMAX here. They could build up Houndoom too, I guess. We can't one shot that with Coco immediately, but we do have Band and Goon, so we actually can one shot it. I lied. Actually, well, to be fair, we could promote the Guru or we can promote the Trumbeak. It actually might be possible to go Thunder's Bolt this turn. Okay, there's a there's a three prize here. We can actually boss the Reshizard here, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Well, we can't. No, we can't. We don't have a light energy. Maybe we do boss. I, we'll see. We'll see. Reshiram is the tag team slayer. It's not really the VMAX slayer. It's the tag. No, they play Crushing Hammer. Oh, come on, bro. Why do you play Crushing Hammer, bro? You got two in your hand? Okay. Please don't have a third. Bro, Welder decks don't need Hammer, bro. Ah, that sucks. All right. They have a third Fire Crystal. Let's see what they do here. How is going to attack me with Crimson Legs? Nope. They got the VMAX. Okay. If we can top deck a Coco play or a Lightning Energy, well, we're not going to top deck it. I might have Primate Wisdom the boss on top of the deck. I think we're going to need boss. Having that ability to one shot the Reshi's R team is good. Honestly, we could go Coco here and we could try to spike draw them if we can find a Lightning Energy instead of just going because we can save Reshi Ram for the Zard, especially because we have one prized. Um, I or two prized actually. So it is tempting to go spike draw here on the Cinderace. We'll see. Cinderace is actually only doing 190 damage, I think. Yeah, 190 with the burn. So we actually live with we live with 10 HP left. Okay, what do we draw? The Dene. All right, yeah. So we're gonna I'm gonna prime wisdom the boss on top of the deck. Ooh, that was a really good prize. Got the Reshi Ram back. Uh, keep the in the discard for Coco, I guess. Or... Drop the Dedene. We could, I guess we could Welder. I don't really see a purpose of that. We actually do, oh, we have Tingly Return we could use. We don't get any energy though off of that Dedene. We have the ability to go Trumbeak though. I mean, we have Boss in hand. We could actually Trumbeak into a Light Energy here. And then we can Boss the Zard and knock it out. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, I should have played the Giant Hearth maybe, yeah. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We have the Coco, I guess. We gotta go Coco. Do we have Crobat? Yeah, Crobat's prize. I, I don't like wasting Coco here. I'd rather get double energy out of this, but... Is what it is. Yeah, if I had another energy there, we could have tried to set up like a Dedenne play, which would have been ideal, but you know what? This works too. I like just knocking out the Zard. We still have to deal with Cinderace, which is kind of hard to do, not going to lie. <laughs> but uh, we have Coco. We have the option to Tingly return them next turn. Like, we can always Trumbeak into the Dedene. Uh, I'm going to bench that, just have maybe double Trumbeak. If it lets me, there we go. Um, We can play the Giant Hearth. Get rid of the Calm. We don't really need the Calm, right? So we'll take the Giant Hearth. Well, we could draw Pokemon to double Trumbeak, I guess, but... I think I still want to thin the deck out. We can also put the energy in play. We can put on the Dedene here. Have that option for Tingling Return. Like, we hit them for 50. We can knock them out Rush Ram. Let's go. All right. Let's see what we get. Marnie. Okay, we got a supporter. There's the other Rush Ram. That's huge. There's Crobat. Three, probably the best prizes we could have gotten. Because I don't know what else is prized, but those are probably the three best ones we could have gotten. So we can go Tingly Return into Reshi Ram. I mean, they might have a switch, though. How many switches have they played? They haven't played one yet, have they? No, they haven't. They might have a crushing hammer. Bro, I, I just don't understand why people play crushing hammer and welder, bro. It's a terrible card. See what they do. They could boss something this turn, which would be great because then this thing stays alive. I doubt they'll do that. Do we have other, We don't have the other boss, do we? We do. We don't have our other... If we had a Leon still, we could go like Coco for 20 and then Goonping, Leon, knock this out with Reshiram with a band on it. Not going to work out. Oh, they got double Cinderace now. They have to dig for boss. We just have to get another Rush Ram in play, I think, to win this. I think that's what this comes down to. Yeah, get two Rush Ram in play and we can win. Alright, so we want to Tingly return this turn and we want to make it so they don't have a switch. 
There's the energy. We go bench. Doesn't really matter how we sequence this. Attach. Wisdom. As long as we don't draw a dark energy. Ooh, holy. Let's go. Let's see. Dark. Okay, just the lightning. Do the trumpet again. Nice. Well, Marnie and hope they don't move the Cinderace. That's like my last ditch effort. Nice. There's the dark energy. We didn't get our last boss, though. Would have been nice to see the boss. We do have Dedene back, so I guess it kind of works out, right? We, we do get our Dedene back here. So, I guess it works out in the end. How much HP? They got 260. All right. Yeah, now we hope they don't switch here. If they do, and they don't hammer my energy away, we should be able to Dedene into the boss's order. We'll see how that goes. I mean, we'll see. They still have Crushing Hammer, which is pretty bad. We didn't get to net the Trumbeak here. But yeah, we just pray they don't switch to Cinderace. We could always build up the other Rush Ram and have two in play, and then we can try to... We just need to find boss to win this, right? So we can have, like, the double Rush Ram in play. Only one energy. That's nice. That means they might not be even be able to... Thing. All right, don't have a switch. No, bro, they had the switch. No. Dang it, bro. Dang it, they actually hit the switch. No, okay. Coco living here is huge. We just need to draw the boss's order. We can still use net with Crobat. I'd also go into a Trumbeak and just Marnie here and don't mind that. Like, we could just weld her to the other Reshiram. I don't think the Dene is going to get me the welder. Or the boss, right? I, I mean, there's one in the deck. The ch I don't even know if it's in the deck, to be honest. All right, what do we not need in this hand? Probably the band, right? Do we have the boss? We do have it. We can thin out the deck. Oh, that's all of our energy, though. We have a training court still, so I guess that's okay. We do this. We did Dene. We're seeing six of our cards. We still have Guru and a Crobat to work with. That's not bad odds, to be honest. All right, let's go for it. Let's let's just go for it. I don't know if this is the right play or not. I think it is. We can still net Crobat Guru. We didn't get either or. Oh no. I just sacked all my energy. How many nets do we have left? Two. This could also get us the boss, right? Boss. No. We can research, I guess, and guarantee... How much HP? They got 260. That's a very disappointing whiff. Alright, switch into a Trumbeak. Pass. Pray they don't have... I don't want to research, right? Don't want to dump my hand just yet. I'm going to wait a turn. Crushing Hammer, that doesn't matter, as long as I don't get two heads on both. <laughs> no, we should have researched. We can still do Crobat. It's, uh, we still have Crobat Guru. I should have researched, though. Okay, that's not a boss. That is not a boss. And if I research, we need to have, like, a backup plan, right? I feel like we still need a backup plan to win this. I guess we could still win with Tapu Koko on the Crobat. That's an option, I guess. Maybe we should have researched then. I don't want... Well... Well, research would have guaranteed us the boss, right? Okay, we probably should have went research there. I think it's fine, though. Um... Yeah, maybe we should have went research. We have a lightning left in the deck, so we can still try to build up Coco. Like, if worse comes to worse... We can, like... Go into another Trumbeak, build up Coco, 
then we have two attackers that can hit them. But I guess now we can't do research because we deck out. Okay, we definitely should have went research there. That was definitely a misplay. That's fine. We can play our... Actually, we can draw... If boss is the last card in the deck, we're not winning this. But we can play most of our hand down here. We can play most of our hand down. Do we need the goon? No, not really. We can like ping this for 10 and Coco knocks it out. That doesn't really make a difference though. We're drawing four cards plus five with the guru. I should have researched, but we got the boss anyways. We'll just bring in the Cinderace. And take a big knockout. Amazing rare Reshi Ram. That was a weird game. Probably could have played a little bit better, to be honest, at the end there, but worked out in the end. Oh, we had another Reshi Ram prize. And our Reshis were just not... They weren't having it today. <laughs> Here we go, get into another match. We're up against a metal deck, which is fine. Now, some metal decks, of course, do have um, coding metal energy. However, in this scenario, we're doing so much damage, the coding metal energy literally doesn't matter. We got a pretty gas start, too. A lot of Pokemon search cards, but... Pretty good hand. I'm hoping to get energy on the Rush Ram here. Now, will we run to a deck with hammers is my question. No. Metagross? Gives your Pokemon for a treat. That's probably for Zacian. We'll see. Another net. Yikes. Quick ball. That's a lot. All right. I'm going to play this first. I'm gonna just going to get a Guru. I just want to make sure I get a Guru down. We'll play the Great Ball. Big Trumpy. All right. Well, Wisdom, the research on top. We didn't get an energy down so far. Can we get one off this Wisdom? I want to make sure we get energy in play. We do not. We do another Rush Ram, though, which I'll bench. We'll pass. Good turn. Um, We could have maybe calmed the Rush Ram, but I had the research on top, so I need to make sure I keep it on top. But I was thinking maybe to calm. I do want to get another Rush Ram play. Ooh, this is kind of annoying. This thing actually bodies me because of its trappy bite. What the hell, a beauty? What does that even do? Draw two cards? Bruh. They do have Luke Metal. Luke Metal's pretty annoying, though. Because full metal wall. And they get all the energy off a of Brave Bull. Zacian, <laughs> relax. Stop being so overpowered. Alright. Drop the Trumbeak. Get a fire. Not looking luckily we're going to get the attack off, guys. I think we just feed him a Reshi Ram. I don't think we're going to get the attack off here. It's not looking... Well, eh, we can calm for something we can sacrifice. Would Goon be worth it? I if they play Goggles, we don't need the Goon, right? How relevant is the Goon? Well, the Goon could be good against Luke Metal, but then we can ping the Luke Metal now. Scoop another... Yeah, yeah, okay, this is fine. We'll go boop, ping this, just get damage on. We'll net the Reshi Ram, we'll feed him a Goon, bench this, and then research. My question also is, will they have a boss in a three-card hand? Um, uh, energy. Ooh, we could save it with Welder, actually. We can Wisdom first. Oh, hold on. Let's see what we get off this. Beyond. Well, I, we'll save the energy. We have the Welder. We might as well save it. I'll regret this, but they can't do Boss and Martin in the same turn, so we'll keep our hand no matter what. So I think we'll we'll save the we'll save the Welder. I'm fine with that. We'll save the Welder because then we can see more cards, and then we can maybe try draw an energy, put on top of the deck with Guru, all that good stuff. I mean, they have a two card hand. Realistically, what are the chances my opponent actually has a boss's order in their hand? Right? We'll see. One card hand. What's it gonna be? Are they maybe they can not attack me? That doesn't really do much for them though. We have the net. Unless they're gonna intrepid store or try to get into a better spot. They are going to jump. Okay. I kind of understand this play because my opponent knows not that the goon doesn't really do anything for them. Um, I guess that play's fine. Yeah. See what we get here. Didn't get any energy. We did get a double Trumbeak, though. We have net anyways. All right, here we go. We just go for it and see if we can hit the dark and light energy off these Trumbeaks. No, we get a fire. No, dude. That ain't it, Chief. Where do I put this? Once again, nowhere really to put the energy. I guess we could put it on the goon. We can retreat it. Then we can save our scuba net for a rainy day. I'm going to put that on top. I don't think we need the cocoa. Well, Trumbeak number two. Will this get us lightning and dark? Probably not, though, right? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> not like this. Ah, that sucks. All right. Wisdom that on top. 
We got Coco. No energies. Nah. This is awkward. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. The Welder's kind of useless now, too, because we have no... Well, let's reach our training court. Nope, they get a Swell down. That is completely out of the question. Will they finally get a boss? They do not. They're actually going to knock me out here. Which is interesting that they did this now. Ooh, man. Promote the Reshi Ram and pray, I guess. We can still try to go into it at Dene. Drop this now. Come on. I don't think we're going to get it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. We got a lightning. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wisdom the Coco on top. Come on to Dene one time. Oh. The nuts. We actually got the knockout. Oh my goodness. Wow. Bench Peaky Pack 2. We actually got the knockout. Now, unfortunately, my opponent can knock me out with the Stun Fisk, which is kind of bad. The Stun Fisk is kind of annoying. Not going to lie. There's a raw. That's a good prize. Quick ball, that can get us to Dene. All right, beautiful. So we promote. Uh, probably gonna have to be Trumbeak. This thing is kind of bad, right? We knock ourselves out when we hit this. That's fine, though. We'll see how this goes. I mean, they could still bench another two prizer, like a Zacian. Then we can try to boss it. I do want to knock out this Luke Metal, though. I don't want it to do full metal wall, um, which is not good for us. Well, they're knocking me out. Actually, we probably should just promote the Guru instead because it can sponge a hit from the Stun Fisk. All right. So, how are we doing this? We go... Pop the Coco now because we're going to do Dene. I do want to knock them out here if I can. Um, we can quick ball for the Dene. We can rod the stuff back in the deck. Get back double Rushy Ram. Get back. Fire Dark. Primate Wisdom, the Welder. The Bear Supporters. We'll be fine. Dene. Can we get the knockout? Mm -hmm. Maybe. We put the Dark in the deck. We did get it. Alright, cool. Where would we ever need this ban? I don't think it matters. We'll Marnie them. This is kind of risky if they get a boss here, but they can't knock out Rush Ram and Stun Fisk anyways in one hit. Bruh. <laughs> Got a ton of energy. <gasps> Yo, one time a switch out? No. We have a Lightning. We already popped our Coco. We can't play Training Court. We played our Rod already too. We could attach to the Dedene, which I think we gotta do. I guess we could like... We could Tingly return this. I might have to do that. Guru is stuck in the active right now, which is not good. I don't like how Guru is stuck in the active. How do we... Mm, how do we ever... Well, here's what we can do. We can maybe get into a situation where we knock out the Luke Metal, and then we boss the Berserker with, like, Coco or something to win the game. Probably could have played Quick Ball. Yeah. Looks like our Guru is going down here. That's unfortunate. I think that's our last Guru, though. Right? I don't know if we have one prized. I think we did. If I remember correctly. That's fine. I do... Well, we can actually boss in around the stun... No, that won't make a difference. We still get knocked out. We need to draw, like, a really good card here. So... I, never mind, we're not drawing... I forgot. Hmm. I think we just knock him out get another Reshi Ram. It's gonna have to be the play. That's fine, though. We can then quick ball for Crobat in the next turn. I mean, we're one we're one knockout away from winning the game. We take a lot of damage, 180 damage because of our attack and the attack of Stun Fist. We feed them a Trumbeak and pray they don't have an energy in boss in here. They haven't played a they haven't played a boss yet. They have they're down seven energy though. And we're here to get some prizes. Fire G. More Oh my gosh, no, dude. Too much energy in our hand. We are out of Welder and we don't have Coco. We currently can't knock them out next turn. So we have to tingly return them and then pray they don't, like, heal or something. Please don't have a boss. So they have a boss. Probably game over. Okay, they don't have a boss. So, oh, they're one prize off of winning, actually. Shoot. Didn't realize. Oh, so, it's impossible to attack them here. But even if we tingly return... Hmm. I think 
we have to try to boss the Berserker or the Luke Metal. I think we lost, guys. I think we've lost. I think we... Well, they can't do it. No, I guess they can't Brave Blade me twice, right? Yeah, they can't Brave Blade me twice. Mm, but nothing can sponge a hit from Zacian. That's the only problem. There's, I don't see a point of doing Tingly Return. Well... No, I do. We can try to paralyze get another Trump Beacon play. I think that has... Uh, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to try to paralyze get another Trump Beacon play. <laughs> this is so bad. I do want to bench the Reshi Ram, but I need to get a Peaky Pack here. We'll get our last scoop of net, though. Yeah, I think we need to draw as many cards as we can. I don't want to research, though. I wouldn't mind getting a Marnie. There we go. We got the... Oh, we got the Peaky Pack. The Marnie, then. All right, here we go. Marnie. Didn't get a peaky pack. Or a net. If we didn't drop the rush man, we actually would have had the peaky pack. Mm, we can wait a turn. They need a switch and another way to switch to knock me out here. The next turn we can do tingly return. Can we ever two shot this? No, I don't think we can. Even with Leon and Ban, which are no longer available. We do have boss in hand. They could bench, theoretically, they could bench another Meowth. Then we draw Vitality Ban, we can knock it out. There's no point of paralyzing them because they win no matter what the switch. So I think I just hit them with Static Shock. They could Full Metal Wall the energy. I doubt that'll happen though. I think we Static Shock them and pray they don't knock me out. I, I, I can't think of anything. Maybe what I should have done is just built up the Reshi Ram and pray they don't have a knockout. That's what I should have maybe done. I should... Yeah, I probably should have done that. This is just... Yeah, this is just not good, guys. <laughs> now we have to Tingler turn and paralyze them and hope they don't switch. Ooh, they get Metagross in play. Well, they, they can't retreat. No, they have a Quick Ball. Unless they get a Meowth here, we can't win. Well, we'd have to draw a Vitality Band in order to win. They do get a Meowth. Okay, so this actually kind of works out. We, if we draw a ban, we win the game. I doubt we'll draw a ban, though. But you never know. We have one left in the deck. I don't know if it's prized or not. If we had Goon, we'd actually win now. Oh, they still have Intrepid Sword. I forgot about that. Yikes. What do we draw? One card too late. Okay. We were one card off of actually drawing there. That sucks. But I think we have to boss the Luke Metal. This just doesn't work. Well, no, it does work because we can go, we can tingly return the Zacian here, which lets us make, that makes them have a, doing boss actually doesn't work out because if we boss them here, if we boss, they just get switch. We paralyze, make them have a boss switch play. I think that has to be the play. What do we even do though? Do we promote Coco or Peaky Peck? It doesn't really matter. We'll promote the Coco so we have a fruit tree pivot. Doesn't matter what we promote. I'll promote the Coco though, because they could always they could always like full metal wall me. I don't know. Whether they have game, they have game. I don't know. Let's see what happens. We'll promote the Coco so they don't like full metal wall the energy off. We have to tingly return and pray they don't have a switch switch combo. They have a four card hand. They can get a Metagross in play, but that won't do anything unless they have another switch. They need rare candy switch Metagross. They need the nuts. This is our last ditch effort. We have to do this. If this doesn't work, we're probably gonna lose the game. What's gonna happen? That's not a switch. Unless they're slow rolling or BMing me, they don't have it. This is intense. They could reset Snammy too. No, they have a Malolana. But do they have a way to move? They have a one card hand. If they don't move, we still win with a boss's order. There's nothing that can retreat. Everything has a two retreat cost, which is also really relevant. Do they have, is that last card in their hand a switch? It is not, oh my God. We have taken the dub against this Zacian Luke Metal deck. Holy crap. Oh my god, what a match. And there we were also one card off of the ban knockout on the <laughs> Meowth. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm actually shaking. What a way to win the game. Oh my god, that was such an intense match. That was so intense. Wow.
intense. I'm going to wrap the day's piece up, guys. I do have to do the GG tour casting with Pedro very shortly, and I have to make another video for my Patreon. So I'm in enough today's video here. That last game was a great match, though. Reshiram, the Pokemon Slayer. And again, I still believe it is the best, hands down, the best, without a doubt, the best Amazing Rare. I think it's better than Raikou. I think it is better than uh, everything else. Um... Yeah, Reshi Ram. I think it is the best Amazing Rare. Now, what would I change about this list after playing it? I probably would add another... I kind of want to play Viridian or a Training Court or even an Energy Spinner. Um, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind playing those cards. But other than that, I think this deck was fine. I mean, we tried it. It worked out. We won a couple games. We slayed some tag teams. We took out a Luke Metal, took out some Zacians, took out a Reshizard. Pretty cool stuff. That'll be it for the guys. If you enjoyed today's PDCGO video on the Shiny Face Rush Ram deck, drop a like on the video. Uh, sub down below if you're new to the channel. We are very close, guys, to 14,000 subs. If you guys have not subbed to the channel yet, make sure to click that subscribe button. Check out Carcraven down below if you guys are looking for any Shiny Fates codes. Get them at Carcraven and use code LDF at the checkout to get yourself a nice discount on the purchase. You can check out my Patreon down below. I will be posting extra Shiny Fates content over on my Patreon. It's only $2 a month. It's a way to support the channel if you so please. Uh, follow me on Twitch down below. I am streaming Shiny Fates decks over there this next week. So check it out and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.